The devs reworked the striker set, so I took this opportunity to revisit one of the most highly used and celebrated hybrid skill builds I've ever released, the perfect blend. I hacked the striker gear set into a six skill tier skill damage hybrid with crits. This is the pre-title update 16.1 version, and I have great news for you. It's getting an upgrade. Hit like if unique and effective builds are for you, and comment perfect blend 2 to support the channel. Here's the deal. I analyzed the build with the gear set changes the devs made, and at first thought, the same setup was still the best. It's still awesome, but after a few days, something began to bother me. Season 10 gave us the Umbra Initiative gear set. Striker gives you 15% weapon handling, 15% RPM boost, and now 65% total weapon damage when you have all 100 stacks. Both Striker and Umbra are similar that way, but one of the differences between the sets that really stands out is the damage recovery. This Umbra hybrid I created it has 16% armor regen per second. That's without the memento. The striker gear set gives us nothing for recovery. So even though the build is strong, relying solely on the memento's 3% armor regen holds back the build's true potential. So I took this and reworked it into this. Now it is more in balance than ever before. Strong skills, strong primary weapon, and finally a rate of recovery better than ever. The devil is in the details on this one. There are a few unexpected changes. I can't wait to share. The biggest change you will notice on the surface is that I removed the crits. All four of the striker pieces have a skill tier and skill damage. Thanks to season 10, we have the Busy Bee Exotic. A single mark gives us 20% weapon damage. We are marking everything we see as often as we can. This is a magnificent and easy source of damage and allows us to drop the crits completely off the build. It's such a smarter way to create the build, you're gonna like this. I am running the test subject for 40% weapon and skill damage. I use the shotgun with in sync whenever I have a chance. Big detail, I am now running gunner instead of technician. Our time to kill is so good, it's a shame to not use that to recover from damage faster. And now we have 10% armor on kill. Technician is real Really good on hybrids, no doubt. It was giving us an extra skill tier, 12% damage to robotics and 10% skill damage. But since we freed up so much attribute space by dropping crits, I was able to load up on a ton more skill damage. We actually have more skill damage than we did before. Instead of Cheska, we now have Wyvern for more skill damage. I tried the striker chest for the potential extra 100 stacks, but you never achieve it, so it's a pass. I have damage, regen, and glass cannon for the talent. Glass Cannon works for both your weapon and your skills. And now, more than ever, I recommend this talent. Let me show you why. For the first time ever, I found a use for my armor on kill mods. I have literally never put them on a build until now. This is the first build I've ever actually produced with these mods. And I got to say, these mods were dusty as heck. Alone, they're not worth much. Together, they're the equivalent of 60,000 armor on kill. Combined with Gunner, that's 16% armor on kill. It's not quite 20%, but close enough for the rate we're killing. Best part? These armor on kill mods aren't taking any power away from us. You can run protection from elites or skill haste mods, but these really are the best here. I am running the Memento backpack. The striker backpack didn't hold up to this. The Memento gives us 30% weapon damage at full stacks, 30% skill efficiency, which is major, and 3% armor region. On kill, we are getting 30% skill efficiency, a little weapon damage, and 10% bonus armor for the short-term buffs. So with the Memento, we have a total of 3.5% armor region happening as we're getting the 16% armor on kill. This collective recovery is absolutely perfect for the pace the build can run. That's why we want glass cannon. We are getting rewarded when our skills and our weapon are getting a kill many times multi-killing. It's a perfectly blended setup. See what I did there? Compared against the original version, this rebalancing of damage for recovery really is an upgrade. I wanted the skills to be stronger than ever because in Legendary, there are times when you're suppressed, but your skills aren't ever suppressed. So while you're ducked in cover, they're still earning armor on kill and memento trophies for you to grab on your way to pressing the enemy into a spawn kill. Hey, compare this striker hybrid with this Umbra initiative hybrid, which is really unique and unexpected. I made it in the lab, live on Twitch in unedited 
edited gameplay where I make all my builds. Follow me over there for more Division 2 fun. Shout out to all the members of Texas Players Club. I'm really honored to have your support and can't imagine a better way to say thank you than providing you with more of what you love. This playlist on my YouTube homepage hosts your bonus content, extra builds, gamer music playlists, and more. Not a member yet? It's time you join a strong, positive community. Links here and in the area below. Check out this short bit of gameplay. playlist on my channel dedicated to the best hybrids for the Division 2, all in one easy place to find. In order for a hybrid to make the list, it must offer unique value and be suitable for Legendary. I'm dropping a link in the description and it's totally worth wandering over and saving the link too. I'm constantly updating this playlist. And one of the best Division 2 resources for the community is Texas Discord. This is not a raid-only Discord, and we're not elitists. This is the central hub for agents who love the Division 2 and want to see it thrive. Come learn, share, find a group to roll with, raid, or just hang out. And if you love builds, this is definitely your spot. Check out this unexpected Umber Initiative hybrid next. Follow me. 